Hey, what's good, y'all? Today, we are going to talk about the Revolt Tech Amazing Yamaguchi Deku, a.k.a. Izuku Midoriya. But uh, I know I said that ass backwards. Damn. Oh, well, anyway, let's jump to it. Yeah. So I am excited for this because um, I liked the Figma a lot when it released. And then since then, um, I felt like Figma gave us absolutely nothing. They waited around for years, and then I kind of gave up. And now we have the Revolt Tech one. Which, honestly, I love Revolt Tech because they maximize in articulation where other people cannot hit. And for a long time, they were trying to find that balance between both aesthetic and articulation. And I think here, as we have, they may have found that sweet, sweet spot. They did the right thing by, I think they scaled it rec like correctly. I think the look is great. I think everything about this is really great. Outside of like the minor QC paint issues or like the joint issues people may have, and that's again, a QC issue. I think they've really nailed everything that implements this sort of figure. So without further ado, let's jump to it. I'm gonna bring this guy up close. We're gonna talk about this look real fast. This is, I believe, one of the most current suit designs that we can get that have nothing to do without any sort of spoiler. As we can see here, we have like the new, the metal cleated boots. So you see they went over his regular sneakers so you'll see that design there. You have the leg guards, which you know he started to use his legs more. We have our arm guards. The only thing we don't have is like our updated uh, shooting style, but I don't wanna spoil that for those of you who have not watched yet. So yeah, overall we definitely have a really good suit design. Even here with the mask uh, being here, you can see it goes up and over. I like everything about this. This is all one piece, so as you can see here, you kind of just that's on a ball joint i don't really mind that if the mask isn't going to come over i don't mind a non uh masked version that we're not going to get i don't mind it at all the head actually extends by pulling it up or down so you can actually extend your range as needed articulation wise uh we're gonna get into it we really are so overall i gotta say look wise this guy is phenomenal i really like the look of it it is nailed very well as well as like the blending of aesthetic and articulation as you can see in the back part of the joints even though we have those revolver joints it's hidden very well so <clears throat> now we're going to talk about my favorite part now with this articulation and, and the way it's done revoltec uh did a great job of making sure everything kind of hit that way to shows with deku's style evolving into that shoot style so our head articulation can move up that means for certain poses that this would allow you to rotate that neck up and over for when you are looking down looking up turning left and right and my eyes kind of fell in so let me fix that very quickly i'll get to that too in a second but my eyes fell in so i want to make sure i fix that That's one thing, uh, I think that's just a me thing. But on my other one, that's not really an issue. I think that's because mostly I dropped this Deku right on his face. So you'll see the eyes kind of not come all the way in. And that definitely might be because <laughs> I dropped mods already. See, and I just did it again. <laughs> so let's fix this. And I have them, yep. Oh, actually this is upside down but I actually like the way this looks. So I'm gonna leave that the way it is because that actually looks pretty cool. So I turned them upside down and now they actually look a little better. <laughs> I actually like that look a lot. Looks a little bit more in intense. Like he's looking down at you. Now, as far as our neck articulation goes, like I said, this was previously on one piece, but it does have that ball joint there. That ball joint can help move a little bit because our neck actually gets a lot of range. See that super long neck there? This is actually going to give Deku a lot of range, but it coming down and give you that that range of motion is really nice, especially if you don't want it to hit a certain thing. So let's say you wanted to hide it and move that neck up and back. There we go. No problem. Same thing for looking down. Like I said, there's a lot of room there. As far as our arm goes, we can actually go on our joint. The joint goes up and over. As you can see here, there is a hidden bicep joint that's going to be inside the arm that allows you to rotate. And if you want to go up and around, not a problem. There's also a butterfly joint in there, a revolver butterfly joint, which allows you to get movement to allow that arms to go up and over. 
as you can see here. We have a single cut joint and not a double joint. This can also swivel and turn at the forearm. I'm gonna push that all the way in because I, like I said, I'm gonna wear these joints out. When you have it all the way in, you're only gonna be able to get this degree of angle. But as the more you push it in, it comes out a little bit. You can actually go in further, as you can see here. We have our standard peg-like joints, which allows you to move up, down, left, and right, and rotate around. I'm not gonna move that around a lot because I'm gonna wear that out, and I don't wanna wear it out too soon. But this revolver joint also goes backwards. So even when you're doing running poses, you're gonna have that ability to do the run poses with no problem. This is a really soft one, obviously, but as far as our upper torso, as you can see, I can swivel left, I can swivel right, I can touch my toes. And this is the basic revolver articulation. I haven't really done anything too crazy yet. Same thing for going backwards. You actually get a lot of extension here and you can still wiggle forwards. So there's the upper and the lower. So you'll have two ranges of movement. As far as the legs go, so far we can go out and mine's popped out. Oh, that's another thing. I want to pop this out because I want to show you that there's actually a joint here that is very tight. If you want to heat yours up, that's fine, but there's extra movement here. So don't think that it's not there. It definitely is. And when you plug that in and you get those legs up, you can see here, <laughs> see, I'm already wearing it out. So rotating this around is going to be crazy because with these revolver joints, you actually get a tuck all the way in. That means they made space here in the leg. So that way it tucks all the way in, which is gonna be fantastic. So him doing the, the three and a quarter stance, not an issue. Uh, as you can see here, it's not a problem. Even looking forward, not a problem. You can rotate that head. Let's say you wanted to do jumping poses of jumping down or looking really cool. Not a problem. Uh, you want to do uh, Deku kicking. None of these are going to be issues. So I'm going to keep posing him up and just having fun because I didn't even get to like the feet part yet. But I just want to keep showing you like none of these like poses should be an issue for your Deku whatsoever. Uh, like I said, oh, the standard crouching down and powering up against the bad guy, rotating these arms around. Like, these are all very powerful and easy to do poses with the help of the Revolt Tech, as you can see here. This is absolutely phenomenal. Even rotating the joints here, those on those double joints, even right here, like at the boot, you can rotate, cut it. Like, do you have that rotating cut? Then you have this super simple ankle pivot. You can go backwards, forwards, toe pivot. Like I said, I think that Kyoto has come into that point where they are definitely at the max of what they know, what they're doing. Because look at this. This just looks, the functionality on this is utterly fantastic. Blocking. Uh, oh, block poses. That actually sounds like a good idea. Let's try one of those. So let's try. Yeah, see? Blocking poses. Yeah, see? I love this. I love everything about this. I think this definitely hit a fantastic stride on, on perfect aesthetic and balance of articulation. Um, if you don't like Revo or putting in the work, this may not be for you. But for somebody like me, this is like opposing paradise. I definitely am glad that I got a couple of these. So yeah, I'm gonna leave him right there because right now I'm gonna talk about these accessories. So let's get to it. All right, now we're gonna talk about the eyes first because we actually get a nice set of those. So as you can see here, you actually don't get movable eyes. What you do is you get sets of eyes that are going to plug in to uh, Deku. You'll also get a pen and you'll get a designated hand for that. And the reason why you get a pen, because as you saw in the, uh, the proto images, you're going to get a book to write into. I love that they chose um, one of the actual pages that they used in the anime and manga. It's really nice. 
It doesn't close, but it does look pretty cool. And there are dedicated hands for that. So for the book, you'll get a dedicated left hand for it. You're going to do it right at the, the folding page. It's pretty strong, right? And then for the left hand, you're going to get the pen. Let's actually show that pen very quickly. I'm always scared of this, which is why I never like taking them out. And I should have had my tweezers ready. I played myself just now because I don't have the ability to grab these without potential of ruining something. And for the pen, let's see how this fits in. Yep. Also strong. I'm going to put that back in because I don't want to lose that ever. Then you're going to get open action hands because you saw the fist already. And I'm, I'm leaving the fist on for a reason. So you get these open action hands. Next up, you're going to get shooting style for the plucking. One of my favorite things. I'm so glad that they included these. Utterly fantastic. And these look fantastic too. I think the paint apps are going to be hit and miss for some people, but I think it's one of those dope things that hopefully will be hit for some people. Next up, you'll get this. This is obviously for plucking out your eyes. <laughs> Not your real ones, but your Deku ones, for those of you who can't determine the difference. Then you're going to get two stands. And that's because normally I don't show these, but you'll get two sets of stands. And normally I don't show them, but it's very important because you actually get really cool word bubbles, which I don't want to open, but I'm going to have to. So let's do that on camera. So actually off camera, but on. So I'm going to open these up because I don't want to not show you. I don't want it to wait till come in pictures. <laughs> so I'm getting them open and out. You'll actually get two smash effects and the muttering effect of him muttering. So here's the muttering effect, which you're gonna put on the stand because they'll come with a piece for it. This is the adapter piece for those said ones. And then you'll also get two smash effects. So you have two exclamation smash and you have the regular smash. Smash you. Now we're going to get to the facial accessories. So you'll get a angry face, angry Deku. This is the default one is him looking straight up at you. Angry Deku, or should I say determined Deku. And then we have the happy face, which looks over to the left hand side. Pretty cool. You'll also get, and this is why I saved this for last. So you'll get a, another head for it. Another faceplate head. Oh, sorry, hair plate. So I'm going to remove this hair plate. I want to put on the angry head. And you'll get one that uses the one for all effect, or at least begins to, right at the top of his head. And I think this looks fantastic. It may not be everybody's cup of tea, but this definitely works for me. I know you see that head kind of turned over looking crazy. So if I move it down, it looks a lot better. This is fantastic. Now, the reason why I left the fist on is because the fists actually come with a port plug piece. And this is going to be for your one for all effects when you have them in use. The red ones, you can place either at the top or the bottom or whatever, but I would figured you use them for the fist parts. You plug it into the port. And this is where you got to be careful, because if you plug this in wrong, <laughs> like I may have. Um, nope, I had the right one. You'll get two for the fist, which are going to be red. Obviously, they use a little bit more energy. I'm going to plug this one into the fist port so you guys can see what it looks like. And then try to pose it up very quickly for you guys. Oop. Let me. Oh, there it is. I'm trying to find that rotation. There it is. That's what I love about Revo. I can just take the joint out, <laughs> pop it back in. It makes it a lot easier for me when I cannot get a grip on something because it happens almost all the time to me. And as you can see here, I'm going to try to place it in the port without murdering myself or this effect part. And this one may need actually some, some heat. So I may have to apply that off camera because it looks like I'm having some trouble with this port. And it may be due to the heat here, humidity, and the fact that my hand is slipping. Oh, there it is. Finally got it in. Let's 
So you can actually rotate this around. There we go. And I'm sorry for wasting y'all time with that. <laughs> but hopefully it'll help you as it helped me because I learned a new thing. I should apply it a little easier that way by taking it off. But as you can see here, you can use it as a fist. Now I want to get it posed up and looking nice for you guys. So, let's see how this looks. Yeah, this looks good. I would change the hand, obviously, rotate this arm out. But yeah, this looks good. I would obviously, I should probably pick this arm up a little bit. But you know what I mean. You know the sentiment that I'm trying to make here. Now, even as I pop this effect back off, there are other portholes throughout him that you can use. This one is going to be for your stance here in the background. But there's one at the top of the arm. And you'll get the green ones for the off one effect. You'll actually get 10 total. So you can actually use these in a bunch of different places. So there's one here for the top of the arm, right? Let's use another one here to go right under the cowl where there's two more. So you can actually use a ton of these effects. You can actually make his whole body use uh, all for one, well, one for all full cowling. So let's say you wanted to use five, 10, 20%. You can actually reflect that with your effect parts. And due to them being a little bit softer than previous effects, you don't have to worry about right away about breaking them. So don't be obviously crazy callous and just decide you're gonna go nuts. But these ones are a little bit easier to plug in. I was having so much trouble with the red ones. I don't know why, but yeah, cowled up. This is him. That just shows one side, obviously. But I really like the potential of this. You can actually have a ton of fun. Oh, one more thing. When you do it here and have it on the effects on the legs, you have to be careful because if you press against the bottom of the leg, obviously these two will meet and you'll lose a little bit of articulation just to keep that in mind. So without further ado, now that we've covered all the accessories and everything, I do want to get Deku all ready for you guys. So I get him ready for the size comparison. So I'll see you guys in a bit, right? All right, last part of the video. Let's get to it. We have a bunch of things I'm going to compare to just for the hell of it. Um, because it's Deku and it's fun and I don't know. It, it's, it's, it's hella fun. First things first, let's compare some of my hero stuff that I have. Unfortunately, I do not have the McFarlane All Might anymore. So uh, honestly, I don't even know what happened to it. I could have swore I had it, but now I don't. So deal with me, dog. First things first, let's compare some Dekus. First up is the Figma one, which I think is still adorable and cute. But this middle one that I'm going to have here is definitely probably the best rendition we have right now in terms of both articulation and updated look. So this is you can actually use it as the Figma being when Deku first started and the middle one being his progression up until now. Here we have the McFarlane seven inch My Hero. Just so you guys can see just how crazy big it is compared to the others. And yeah, there is a big difference. Again, even if you take this guy out, you can definitely compare these two to the point where you can go, all right, this is, you know, you've been updating yourself. There's growth there. You can kind of still use those two. So let's get rid of this. Uh Oh, let's do Figma Bakugo. Oh, your arm just came out. Let me fix that. <laughs> so your whole arm came out. I don't know why. So this actually works if you want it to. You know, Bakugo should be a little bit taller, but it does work if you can finagle it for those action shots. So I think you'll have a good time having those two together. I think it works. Personally, I think it works. Next up, we're going to do some mixing and matching and having some fun. I'm actually going to throw in a Figma lady, a short gal, my homegirl Mako Makensho. So it's cute to have her here because you can actually do those saving poses, like when he's saving a fallen girl and things like that. Next up is your main boy Goku. Oop, knocked on my camera. And you want to just put Goku in it just because Goku fanboys are going to ask. And I don't have a problem with the peas in this one because this would be a fun, fun, fun thing. So here you go. Next up, we're going to do an SH Figure Arts Kaneko Man. Because I feel like Kaneko Man could work in this world as a character. 
I'm pretty sure um, there's little nods to him anyway in there. So I'm just gonna throw it in there for fun. A super Kaneko man. Let's get rid of these guys now, All right? Next up, we'll do a Mafex Spider-Man because now we're gonna get to the super heroics. In case you wanna ever have those super duper crossovers with my hero and Marvel, because I believe it's now happened once. It was pretty fun. It was a manga. So here's Deku looking over at Spider-Man. Spider-Man looking over at Deku. Hey, how you doing, my guy? What's up? Here we have a Lightning Collection White Ranger. So we have some Hasbro stuff. And I got to fix his bow-leggedness. I don't know what's up with that or how I did that, but I did it. <laughs> then we have a Hasbro Spider-Man. For those of you who want to compare that part. Next up, you have an Articulated Icons Ninja. There we go. So yeah, we got some nice sizes. As you know, Deku is a smaller character, so it's okay for him to be a little smaller. I think it looks absolutely phenomenal. So let's get a next batch of characters in there. Who can I think of next? Uh, oh, Mythic Legion's Tibius. How about you? Let's throw you in there. Because, you know, this guy can actually work against Deku as well, too, because the My Hero world has been pretty crazy with mixing and matching of different things. Next, we're going to compare it to another Revoltek. Uh, sorry, another amazing Yamaguchi. I chose Iron Man this time. And as you can see, Iron Man is a much larger character. But I like to show the progression here. Because even Iron Man is super dope. But it still had some issues with his joints. But it shows just how far they come because Deku looks so damn smooth. Next up, we have SH Figarts Kamen Rider Kuga, who I think these two would make a phenomenal team up. And Kuga's not, even, not that much bigger than him. Then we're going to compare a Marvel Legends Builder figure, in case you want to see what these bigger characters look like with them. Overall, I think it pretty much works. I think it really, really works. Um, I don't think I've compared a Mezco, so let me get a Mezco in here. So let me try to find one. I don't have my Mezco me out. So let's go with the Nightwing. I have a custom Nightwing from Tiny Pants Color. Ah, Tiny Pants Taylor. I don't know why I just had a whole brain meltdown. Yep, that looks pretty good. All right. Let's throw in some surprise stuff. Here is an Astrobots Argus. And here is a Storm Collectibles Skeleton. Oop. I like throwing these guys in for fun now at this point. <laughs> but Deku, I believe, is pretty much the perfect height. He has excellent articulation and a perfect blend of aesthetic. I think outside of uh, having some troubles, like it's really hot here in New York, I had some trouble with the uh, one for all effects. And that was simply because I was getting nervous on camera under my hot ass lights. So otherwise, I think he's damn near perfect. It's really worth getting hyped for. It's really worth being enjoyable with this i think that the hype was definitely warranted for this again if you found things you didn't like though this may not work for you maybe you still like the figma maybe you want to go with mcfarlane everybody has their preferences but overall i hope that you've enjoyed this hope you found it informative hope you enjoyed the pictures at the end and as always please be good do good drink your water guys later so one thing i realized and i wanted to add this in is that with the eyes there are particular face plates that i did not notice before so as you can see, you'll think you have two of the same eye, but it's for a matching faceplate. I'm not sure if this is going to show. Yep, there it is. So it'll say A1 and B1, and that's when you have to make it realize for each faceplate. This is face B, which is the expression of the mad face. So eyes B will go in there. So keep that in mind. I forgot to add that in. So yeah, after credits, look at this pose, y'all. Look at this pose. Power posing, power posing.